none of us really knows what the future is going to look like. We want to scour the world to try to find those things that strike us as truly forward-looking. We think we're doing some of them right here. Our work in healthcare delivery, our work in women in science, our work in sustainability. Uh, some of the work that we're doing right here we think is leading the entire world already. But what we need to really understand is what are those uh, approaches to higher education that will truly be game-changing. And uh, not only are we going to try to nurture those things that we're already doing here that are game-changing, but we're going to leave no stone unturned in terms of looking everywhere to see where uh, higher education is truly being defined. We've never been at a moment with higher education like the moment facing us right now. We've been through a period of explosive generation of new knowledge and that's only going to accelerate. We've had a period of globalization and reaching out to cultures outside our own communities in our country in a way that has been unprecedented. It's happening at a speed that is phenomenal. We have an aspiration as a country to keep this business going. It, it, it fuels our economy. But we're also facing a moment of question when people are saying, is higher education in America doing what we already always have dreamed that it could do? Certainly some aspects of tradition change over time or become antiquated and are updated. But I think that the real heart of most traditions at Dartmouth is to be innovative. When you look at President Kemeny and all the things he was doing with computers way before anyone else had computers to work with, and when you look at even you know, President Dickey and all of his The Great Issues course and everything like that, um, that was all innovative in its time and it became a tradition that was enduring. The great thing about Dartmouth is that we actually uh, engage our teaching in a way that advances the research. So we bring our students, even at the undergraduate level, into our research. So we uh, make them part of the research team, they get into the lab, they get into the theater, they um, come into our offices and talk with us and they actually participate in the production of research. Dartmouth is a, is a place that uh, works by way of what I would call the vital a rhythm of a liberal arts education. It works by preserving what is in need of being sustained from the past and by envisioning what can transform, not just for the sake of uh, renovation, but for the sake of humanity, what can transform what's already been learned. In 1946, uh, President John Sloan Dickey uttered these immortal words um, to the f incoming freshman class. He said, the world's troubles are your troubles, but there's nothing wrong with the world that can't be fixed by better human beings. Uh, when I read those words, I thought, my goodness, this is the most radical, the most uh, forward-thinking mission statement for a college or university that I've ever heard. And so what would it mean for us to really take that so seriously that we shape our entire um, educational system around that goal? What would it mean to uh, think about preparing young people in a way that there's no problem in the world that they can't tackle effectively. Um, the future for me is a future where people are just care more and are just more humane and there's more humanity. When I think about the future of Dartmouth, I think of it as a place that continues to support students in whatever it is that they want to pursue at the highest levels. Thinking about ways that you can innovate, it's really hard to innovate within one discipline without an outside perspective. And Dartmouth's really well poised to be that place for innovation because we have so much mixing between, you know, music department and computer science and film and media and, um, you know, and uh, the environmental studies. So this is a place that that happens. It's the scale of the campus. It's the passion of the faculty and the students. It's a very, a very unique blend of those people coming together. I think what's most exciting is really trying to think about how you build on tradition that we already have and, and think about how we're going to be not just relevant in the future, but we're going to be leading the future. As faculty members, we want to be leaders in our fields, in our scholarly fields but we're also thinking about training the leaders of tomorrow. So they can go out, not just immediately after graduation, but throughout their lifetime and draw on the resources, the skills, the education that they had here at Dartmouth to be engaged in the world.